going against the Bible, but in all honesty, I'm not. Okay, so I want to read this. It says, Deuteronomy 22 and 5 says, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Okay, now, we're going to go to what this means. This verse commends men and women not to reverse their sexual roles. Okay? So now, if you wear pants and you know you're a woman, then you're not an abomination. But if you wear pants because you feel you are a woman and you're taking that, I mean, if you wear pants because you feel you as are a man and you're taking that role on, then that's where the abomination. That's why I say a woman's garment. Okay, so now the garment. Let me see, define. Item of clothing. Okay, so the garment here. It says the the article of clothing, item of dress, costume, outfit, habit, role, shift, cover, come. Etc. Right. So now, if it's about the dress, then men ain't got no business wearing a robe because the robe ain't got no legs in it. You see what I'm saying? The robes ain't got the robe ain't no pants. So why do they have robes, but they don't put pants to it? Now, when you look at the Muslims, and you look at who is it? Is it just the Muslims? Yeah, I think it's just the Muslims. The Muslims. And the Africans, they wear robes, but they got outfits as pants. Right? They got they got outfits as as pants. Where where when they wear that, it indicates that they are men. You don't see the woman, that you don't see the African women with the same type of clothing that they wear. See what I'm saying? So even though African women do wear pants. I'm trying to think. Do you see that movie? Oh, but no, because when I go in, I'm trying to think. But anyway, when you see the African women, if they do wear pants, they have the material that is being made out of is for the woman. And when you put them together, now they both can have on pants now, but they. The way it's made, the material it's made out of, is different. It's not the same. So when they walk down the street, take me forever, you know. When you walk down the street, they don't see. I mean, we don't see. I want to this.
They keep saying that, but I'm not seeing it. We're gonna go here. Friends, it is coming now. Yeah. What's up, you guys? It's Steve, and let's talk stimulus checks. Uh, because right now, the way that things are going with our economy, the recession, uh, inflation, interest rates, it's not looking good. And people are needing help. We're hearing a recession is likely going to be bringing a fourth federal level stimulus check. So let's talk about it. And also, I've got some urgent updates for you state, county, city checks, uh, a lot of deadlines coming up. Some of the. We have a ton of news. This is a men's two-tone date just reference number 16013. I'm going to show you how to wine and set the time and date of this beautiful timepiece. Right now, currently, it's in the wearing position. Notice that the crown is screwed in all the way. This is your wearing position. Now, if you've just received the watch or the watch has not been worn for more than a day and a half, you're going to want to manually wind the watch in order to fully charge the movement. This will ensure that the watch will keep accurate time, as the power reserve on a Rolex day chest is anywhere between 36 and 48 hours, depending on the age and service history. To wind the watch, we're going to gently unscrew counterclockwise to where it unthreads. Next, in a clockwise motion, we're going to wind the watch in a forward clockwise motion. Approximately 20 to 40 full turns. Once we've manually wound the watch, we're going to want to set the date and we're going to gently pull the crown out to the next position. And in a counterclockwise motion, it could be clockwise depending if yours is a newer version day just. But for this, counterclockwise until we get to the correct date, which is the 15th. Now we're going to set the time by pulling gently out all the way to its last final position, which is your time setting position and now we're going to set the time which happens to be 8 45 and now we're going to push back in the crown and turn up to lock it back up put it in its wearing position now the watch is watertight because we screwed it back in and now you can wear it and enjoy your watch. Thank you. Hello again. It's been just over a month since I bought the Rolex Day Just, and I thought I'd go through the, the top five things that I really, really hate about the watch. Don't get me wrong, I love this watch and I can't.